The last couple days have just killed me. You just caught your man in bed with another woman. That's not easy to forget. Surprise. Oh my god. Lexi? Michelle. What the hell's going on? Especially when I have to run into her every time I leave the apartment. What are you doing here? <clears throat> I should ask you the same question. Are you here to ruin my career the same way you ruin my personal life? Get out. Get out! Michelle, just calm down. Calm down? Calm down? Get out! Look, I'm sorry about this. What are you sorry for? All this. Me. I mean, I'm divorcing Lance because he cheated on me. There is one more thing I'd like returned. My ring? I bought it. It belongs to me. I'm not giving you that back. That ring is for my wife. You walked out on that. Yeah, I walked out. I walked out when I saw half a dozen eight by tens of you cheating on me. Michelle, calm down. No, you know what? Take it. I don't want it or anything else that goes with it. And then I cried. Luke's cheating on me. And then I cry some more. Michelle, wait. Maria harps on me all day long. I tear up. And then she steals my designs to make her wedding dress and <sighs> makes me upset. And then I blubber some more. It's just getting old. What? This is where you tell me that you love me and you support me and everything and yada, 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 yada. Michelle, I do love and support you. But you need to go out and have some fun. If you're crying out loud, put on some makeup. What's wrong with my face? <laughs> Nothing. You're gorgeous. Listen, you're my friend, but let's face it, you need a little color in your skin. What's that? It's Maybelline New York bronzer. It gives your skin that healthy glow. Thanks. Let's go out tonight. Mm, I don't know. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. You need it. It'll be good for you. Well, what are you thinking of? Oh, I don't know, a little bit of dancing, a little bit of dinner, some hot guys. <laughs> <laughs> no men, but a lot of dancing. Perfect. Let's go upstairs and find you something sexy to wear, because it never hurts to flirt. OK. <laughs> Luke, I understand you're angry. You don't know a thing about my mother and me. Actually, I do. Yeah, well, I know why you did it. Really? Yeah. Enlighten me. I know that Sophia put you up to it. I know that my father chose my mother over her, and she never got over it. Is that what Maria told you? <laughs> you know, Luke, there's two sides to every story. I think it's important that you hear my side of the story, and then you make your own decision. There's no justification for what you did. Maybe so. Can we at least sit down and talk about it like two normal? No, I'd rather stand. See, the thing is, I feel like you're going to hit me again. Fine, we'll sit. Hello, please. Michael, hi. Lexi, a little bit early for you to be drinking, isn't it? Oh, it's been a long day, and I'm off the clock. What's your excuse? Mm -hmm. Writers, photographers, artists. You know, we're given permission to practice the fine art of drinking alone any hour of the day. Hmm. Hey, I have something for you. Hmm. Maria's got you working as her messenger now? Yeah, well, I was at the house and she couldn't get a hold of you. Hmm. I'm fired. Hardly. Marie has bigger issues to worry about at the moment, I think. Tell her Williams told your cell phone during the ceremony. <laughs> Put that on my tab. Oh, you don't have to. Please. You ran reference to me a number of times. It's the least I can do. Thank you. Join me. So how are you? Well, you? I'm doing well. Better than Maria, huh? Mm-hmm. 
don't get too comfortable, you have five minutes. Oh, where to begin? How about Charles Blakely? You don't waste any time, do you? Sophia, you just destroyed my wedding. Your wedding was a sham. We have something in common. You are so good at twisting up events, aren't you? That used to really annoy me about you, but I've come to see it has its uses. Twisting events? What are you talking about? Are you forgetting that I'm the one who was married, Maria? That makes you innocent? Of adultery, yes. I was Charles Blakely's wife, and you destroyed my family. I like to think I saved Charles from a life of misery at your side. Oh, really? Really. And is that how you rationalize murdering him? I can't believe that happened to you. I'm telling you, this particular cow had it in for me. <laughs> so I end the day covered in manure, and the editor still has the audacity to ask me why I couldn't get the shot. <laughs> hmm. That's too funny. So how does the world of fashion compare? Uh, models can be a pain to work with, but the pay is a lot better. It's kind of hard to believe that less than two years ago, I was shooting weddings and bar mitzvahs to make rent. You know, you really lucked out getting with Gianni right out of college. That's what I thought. She's killing you? Every single day. I mean, I've learned so much from her, but... But she's Maria Gianni. Exactly. I sometimes wonder if she'd treat me differently if I was also a designer rather than just being on the business end. You know, you could always try the other route. Michael, please. I can't make a pattern or sew on a bias if my life depended on it. It doesn't always matter, Lexi. The only way I'll ever run a fashion house is if I were to partner with a very talented person possessing very little business sense. There are a lot of designers doing that these days. I mean, hell, look at Marie in the past couple years. I know, she hasn't designed anything of her own in so long. We never had this conversation. Never. <laughs> then there's someone like Michelle Miller. I mean, I'm so envious of her sometimes. For the record, Luke and I didn't sleep together. That's what he said. We didn't, I swear. Where are you going to? Isn't this cute? You two look great. Wow. You know, I don't think I've seen you two look this good since our double. I'm gonna go ahead and stop now. Good idea. Um, close my tab, please. Actually, it's my tab. This wasn't a date, though. Michelle, come on. Let's go to Suku. No. I'm not gonna rearrange my night for anyone else. Two vodka tonics, please. That's right. You did buy those two, which means I owe you a round. Two more on me. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna share the drink. She had a half a bottle of Chardonnay at the house. Three drinks and she's a lightweight. Mm. You stay between them? Mm-hmm. Oof. That sure was some wedding, huh? Yeah, did you see my stolen wedding dress design? Did anybody figure out who that woman in red was? Mm. Michelle, we need to talk. Yeah, we do. Alone. Ooh. Uh, don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah. No, I'll be fine. We'll be here. Yeah. And this paragraph says that uh, if you decide to take your business elsewhere, we have the right to match any other company's offer. And that's that. Sorry Rodney couldn't make it, but you know how the traffic is from the beach. I like this. What? Well, you're making everything appear legal. None of my other accounts ever thought of that. Lance, you understand that your accounting is only a small portion of what you'll be doing for me. I'm aware of that. Excellent. 
Because, Lance, I can't have any weak people aligned with my business. I understand. Do you? Because you seem nervous. And nervousness is a sign of weakness. Just trying to be cautious, Eddie. Really? How so? Look, we just can't shove funding into any account whenever or wherever you want it. All right, we have to talk about things, because if the government starts probing, they're going to link us together. Lance, you're an intelligent man, so I'm going to offer you the courtesy of being blunt. Your neck is on the line. 